let's say we have two vectors, vector u and vector v. How can we find two components of vector u, one of which is parallel to vector v, and the other is perpendicular to vector v? So let's draw a picture. So let's say this is w1 and this perpendicular to it is w2. How can we find those two components of vector u where w1 is parallel to vector v and uh, w2, a component of vector u, is perpendicular or orthogonal to vector v. How can we find these two components? Now these two components, they're not necessarily along the x or y axis. They're simply parallel and perpendicular to another vector. The question is how do we find these two components? Well let's redraw the picture a different way. So once again this is going to be vector u. And we're going to break it up into two components. Let's call this w1 and this one w2. And here we have the angle theta. Now we're going to say this is vector v. It's not as long as w1, but notice that it's parallel to it, which means that it's perpendicular to w2. What you need to know is this. W1, which I'm going to write in red, a component of vector u is the projection of vector u onto vector v. Because W1 is the component of vector u that travels along vector v. W2 is the component of vector v that is orthogonal to vector u. And the way you calculate it, it's vector u minus the component w1. So this here is the component of vector u that is parallel to the other vector, vector v. And this right here is the component of vector u that is perpendicular or orthogonal to vector v. So using these formulas, that's how we can find, that is these two formulas, that's how we could find a component that is parallel to another vector and another component of vector u that is perpendicular to another vector. So now let's work on some practice problems. Now let's work on some practice problems. Let's start with part A. Find w1, the projection of u onto v. Now let's say that vector u is 3 comma 5 and vector v is 2 comma 4. So with this information how can we find the projection of u onto v? So here's the formula w1 which is the projection of u onto v it's equal to the dot product of u and v divided by the square of the magnitude of vector v times v. I didn't give that formula to you before, but now you have it. So using this formula, how can we find w1? So the dot product of u and v, we need to multiply the x components together. So that's going to be 3 times 2. And then we need to multiply the y components together. So that's 5 times 4. Now the magnitude of vector v is the square, is the sum of the squares of the x and y components all within a square root but since that is squared the square will cancel the square root and then times a vector v which is 2 comma 4. Now let's get rid of this and let's perform the operation. So we have 3 times 2 which is 6 5 times 4 is 20 and we could cancel the square root and the square. 2 squared is 4. 
4 squared is 16. And then 6 plus 20 is 26. 4 plus 16 is 20. And we could reduce that fraction if we divide the numerator and the denominator by 2. So 26 over 20 becomes 13 over 10. Now 13 times 2 is 26. 4 times 13 is 52. And then we can also reduce those fractions. 26 over 10 reduces to 13 over 5 if you divide both numbers by 2. And the same is true for 52 over 10. If you divide the top and bottom by 2, you get 26 over 5. So this vector here is the vector that is parallel to, or rather, it is the component of vector u that is parallel to vector v. So that is the projection of u onto v. Now the last thing we need to do is find w2, which is the vector component of u, orthogonal or perpendicular to vector v. And w2 is going to be vector u minus w1. So it's 3 comma 5 minus 13 over 5 comma 26 over 5. Now let's get common denominators. So 3 is the same as 15 over 5. And 5 is the same as 25 over 5. So 15 minus 13 is 2, and 25 minus 26 is negative 1. So this is w2. So this is the component of vector u that is orthogonal, or perpendicular to vector v. Now let's work on another example. So let's say that vector u is 6i minus 3j plus 9k. And let's say that vector v is 4i minus j plus 8k. So let's go ahead and find the two components of vector u, w1 and w2. So let's start with w1. So just like before, w1 is the projection of vector u onto v. And so it's the dot product of u and v divided by the square of the magnitude of v times vector v. So let's start with the dot product of u and v. So let's multiply the x components together. So that's going to be 6 times 4. And then let's multiply the y components together. So that's negative 3 times negative 1. And then multiply the z components. So 9 times 8. And on the bottom, we're going to have the square root of vector v. So the magnitude of v is going to be the square root of 4 squared plus negative 1 squared plus 8 squared. And we're going to uh, square this times vector v. Now let's simplify. 6 times 4 is 24. Negative 3 times negative 1 is 3. 9 times 8 is 72. These two will cancel. On the bottom we have 4 squared, which is 16, plus 1 squared, plus 8 squared, which is 64. Twenty four plus three plus seventy two, that's ninety nine. Sixteen plus sixty four is eighty plus one, that's uh, eighty one. Now, ninety nine over eighty one. If we divide both numbers by nine, ninety nine divided by nine is eleven, eighty one divided by nine is nine. So that gives us this. And so w1 is going to be 11 over 9 times 4, so that's 44 over 9. 
i, and then minus 11 over 9 j plus 88 over 9 k. So this is w1, the projection of u onto v. Now, let's move on to part b. So let's calculate w2, which is u minus w1. So we have 6i minus 3j plus 9k minus w1. So let's begin by getting common denominators, just like we did before. So 6 times 9 is 54. So let's write 6 as 54 over 9. Negative 3, we can write that as negative 27 over 9. And 9 times 9 is 81. So let's write 9 as 81 over 9. And now let's distribute the negative sign. So this is going to be negative 44 over 9, and then positive 11 over 9, and then negative 88 over 9. Now let's combine like terms. So let's combine these two first. 54 minus 44, that's 10. So we have 10 over 9i. Next we have negative 27 plus 11. So that gives us negative 16. And then 81 minus 88, that's negative 7. So this is w2, the component of vector u that is orthogonal to vector v. That's it.